Hi, Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So we finally have Chrome version 121 rolling out now officially to the general public, which Google pushed out on the 23rd of January, which was late yesterday once again in my part of the world. Now, first of all, as always, to double check, we have this update. We head to our main menu, Help, about Google Chrome. Latest version and build after this update has been applied is version 121.0.6167.86. And that could be either 85 or 86, depending if you are using Mac, Linux, or Windows. So either or means your browser is up to date with version 121. Now, with version 121, a lot of the new features are on a controlled rollout, mainly to users at first in the United States. So really for um, the rest of the regions globally, this is really just a security update. But nonetheless, we'll get into the um, new generative AR features that are going to be starting to roll out with version 121 um, in just a bit. But first of all, just to focus on the security fixes. Now, um, this is an important security update because there are 17 security issues that have been addressed. And out of the 17, there are three high-risk vulnerabilities, which, as many of you will know by now, is your level just below critical so those are important vulnerabilities that have been addressed we also get some mediums and one or two lows so um the 17 security fixes include three high risk fixes which are use after free in web audio inappropriate implementation in accessibility and integer underflow in web ui now those are common exploits uh, in the chromium open source uh, platform especially use after free so um just double check your browsers up to date. Um, these are also the weekly security updates that would be rolling out for Google Chrome. So we can expect other browsers to more or less get the same security fixes throughout the rest of this week. So 17 security fixes have rolled out with Chrome version 121. Now focusing on some of the changes and improvements and new features. So starting with uh, this release of Chrome version 121, Google say they are introducing experimental generative AR features. Now, just take note, though, that you'll only be able to try out these new features in Chrome on Mac and Windows PCs, not Linux at this stage, over the next few days starting in the US. So these features haven't rolled out to my stable version with version 121, and I think most users globally will not see these features we're going to mention today. But I'm going to head over quickly to Google Chrome Canary, and if you do find yourself as an example in the US, you are going to start seeing in the next couple of days, you are going to start seeing this new experimental AR page. And Chrome Canary is a preview version. So um, obviously, as mentioned, this is still in preview and starting to roll out in the US with version 121. Now, I have posted on these AR features we're going to look at today. So if you want more in-depth info, just do a search accordingly on the channel. So yeah, you can try out new experimental AR features. And the good news is you'll be able to turn this on and off. So um, the first one is with this, this uh, new AR features that are rolling out is that you can now organize your tabs using AR. So what... And this is all about and i'm just going to head over to a gif provided from um, google with this announcement which will give you a general idea the tab organizer in chrome means that the browser will automatically suggest and create tab groups based on your open tabs and this can be helpful um, if you're working on several tasks in chrome at the same time like planning a trip researching a topic and shopping and to use this feature as we can see from the gif provided uh, you right click you right click on a tab and select organize similar tabs or click the drop down arrow to the left of your tabs and um, chrome will even suggest names and emoji for these new groups so you can easily find them again when you need them next so that's according to google so as mentioned on a controlled rollout so if you're on the us you would start seeing this over the next couple of days if not already then the next one as mentioned is creating themes with ar and for this one, we're going to head back to uh, Chrome Canary. And yeah, if we head to our customized uh, Chrome in the side panel, you'll see now that, um, as mentioned, on a controlled rollout, we have Create with AI. And I actually posted on this yesterday, where we can create themes using AI, and we can change the subject, the style, and the mood. So just to demonstrate, 
Uh, let's just go and choose anything here. I'm just going to go through this quickly as to not make this uh, too drawn out. And let's go mood. Let's go serene. And we can create that. And that will now create a theme using artificial intelligence. So if you are using um, different themes in the browser, you may find this of benefit. And there we go. We can click on one of those themes that have been generated. And there we go. So that was using AR, artificial intelligence, to create a theme in the browser. And that's also on a controlled rollout. Then the third um, AR feature that's rolling out and this one, Google says, will roll out in the next months in up-and-coming Chrome releases. So you may not even see this as yet, where they're going to be launching another experimental AR feature to help you write. So this is called Help You Write. And um, basically, this is to help you write on the web. So I'm going to head to a screenshot provided from Google for this. And here we can see that to get started, what you have to do is you right-click on a text box or field on any site you visit in Chrome and select Help Me Write. Type in a few words and Google says the AI artificial intelligence will kickstart the writing process for you. So those are three new features that Google is starting to push out with the introduction now of Google Chrome version 121. And as I mentioned at the start of this video, um, these features are starting to roll out for Mac and Windows PCs starting in the US. So you may see some of these in other regions. You may not, but just bringing it to your attention. Now, just to focus on something else that's also rolling out with Chrome version 121. For this, we're going to head back to Chrome Canary. And um, basically, you should start seeing in some regions the side panel icon being removed. So basically, your side panel icon should start being removed. And this is also on a controlled rollout. And that's been removed from the Chrome toolbar. So you can now start launching most of your side panel tools from um, the Chrome menu that were previously available in the menu, according to Google. So basically what they're saying is that you can now pin or unpin, and I've posted on this previously, certain features directly to the toolbar. So as an example, here's reading mode. And also, um, you can right-click on that and unpin that from the toolbar, and you can pin and unpin and so on. So... Um, I think um, this may be a beneficial feature, um, very similar to Microsoft Edge. So they are starting to get rid of the actual side panel icon. And as mentioned, starting to push out, pin in those side panel um, features to the actual toolbar, which I think is a nice move in the right direction. And then I'm just going to mention the next two changes. And Google is also continuing um, its third-party cookies deprecation. So about 1% of Chrome users should now have third-party cookies disabled already. So that's also on a controlled rollout. And just to mention the last one, um, when you click on links that could be handled by installed web apps, which are also PWAs, um, Chrome version 121 should now start displaying a chip in the address bar. I'm suggesting to switch to the installed app. And also a click on the chip opens the app. And um, if only one supports the link type, or the list of all apps that support it. So a click on that chip opens the app if only one supports the link type or the list of all apps that support it. So that's more or less what's rolling out with Chrome version 121. As I say, a bit of a strange release because most of the features we've spoken about today are on a controlled rollout. And uh, um, obviously this is going to be rolling out over the next coming weeks and months. But as we like to do on the channel, I will keep you posted when these do start rolling out officially in other regions um, in the stable version of Google Chrome for desktop. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.